Tonight on the show, we're very excited, aren't we? We have Simon Helberg and Kunal Nayar from the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> except, except, I don't think one of them is Kunal Nayar. <laughs> Go and check. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Off you go. Uh, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. I'm Alok, and I'm from India, New Delhi. <laughs> New Delhi, India. Well, that doesn't make you Kunal Nayar, though. We're from the same place. But it doesn't. But it doesn't. But it doesn't make me. <laughs> happens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that was that Indian guy that was here about a month ago. You remember that guy? <laughs> all right. All right. Like, like I, I've just pulled you out of the audience. That's the thing, all right? Okay. Here's the scene. You're a member of the public. Mm. I've pulled you out of the audience. Your name's Simon Helberg. You maybe have a project coming okay. up. Okay. And you want to plug it. <clears throat> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. I am Simon Helberg. I am from Los Angeles, California. I see. And why would you be here in the audience this evening? I am here for the plug of my movie, I Am I. It is in select theaters in Los Angeles and New York, and on demand, and on iTunes, and I could go on and on. <laughs> why isn't it in movie theaters in, like, Chicago and stuff? <laughs> well, uh... Is it one of them independent movies? <laughs> where people have feelings and no one chases anyone in a car? Is that the kind of movie we're talking about? <laughs> so let me get this straight. There's no aliens in this movie, is there? Illegal aliens? No, oh, no, that's not the same. He's fine. He's absolutely fine. We checked. Everything's cool. So, no one... Blows up the White House, no one, you know, attacks anybody, nobody does anything. It's just like people having feelings and sorting stuff out. Just emotional explosion. Right, right. <laughs> well, it sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I, I should see. I am I. Why is it called I am I? Uh, it is a reference to uh, Man of La Mancha, the I am I Don Quixote. Yeah, well, I don't go much for the book learning, <laughs> son. I know, that's why it's not in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Chicago's a big city. Why, what am oh, I... yeah. oh, so you got snippy with me all of a sudden. Yeah. Look, you're the one that sat in the audience of my show to plug your movie. I was forced by an Indian. He told me he was Kunal, and he said if we could live somewhere for a month together, and it was air-conditioned, and... Here we are. It's been a great last month. Well, <laughs> it's going to be a great show, everybody. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by T-Mobile. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. pretend excited to see you too yeah. and I'm very excited we nearly never made the show tonight because Michael was late, was late. 
Did you see that? Yeah, he I ran, was getting ready. Yeah. Come on, I was all ready. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see them. Ladies and gentlemen, and, and then I heard, where's Michael? <laughs> we can't find Michael. Where were you, Michael? You into the gent, where? <laughs> Bathroom? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd prefer it if you said gentlemen's trousers department. <laughs> we try and keep it classy all the way until Christmas. Yeah. Classy all the way to Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> 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 what kind of a day is it? You tell me, man. I'll tell you that. It's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> a great day. Also a great day for Brazil, of course. Have you been to Brazil? Hell yeah, hell I'm yeah. I'm very excited. There. So, the, what? Yeah. <laughs> I just said hell yeah. That's all I said. Hell yeah? Yeah. I don't know what the <laughs> hell they're laughing about. Hell, the hell yeah. What are laughing for? What? Calm down. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, uh, is it hot outside? Very hot. <laughs> How hot is it? It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the World Cup uh, soccer championship started today. People in Los Angeles are torn. We're not sure if we should be pretending to care about soccer or hockey. We don't know. <laughs> What's my motivation? <laughs> Puck or ball? Puck or ball? Jeff, puck or ball? Uh, definitely ball. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in Brazil, uh, things are in full swing. Aren't they always? Uh, but right, <laughs> right now, Brazil is filled with so many athletes, it's been named an honorary Kardashian. Oh! Oh, oh right. man. Come on! Come on, man. What? say I do not endorse any of the jokes that I say <laughs> that was good man yeah, that yeah, was good, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway it's great news about the, the great news about the World Cup is this America as of right now is still in it <laughs> but the American coach Jurgen Klinsmann has said that's his name Jurgen Klinsmann. Jurgen Klinsmann yeah yeah he said publicly that we will not win the World Cup actually he's German so he said in soccer one day you're in so the next day you're out <laughs> Feet are up. Papers, please. For you, the war is over, Tommy. Do you prefer puck or ball? I like both. All right, come with me. Anyway, the U.S. is scheduled to play Germany soon. President Obama and the German Chancellor Angela Merkel have already got a bet going. The loser keeps Hasselhoff. <laughs> The favorite, of course, to win the World Cup is Brazil. These Brazilians are expected to tear up the competition like a strip of wax tears up in a really bikini zone. <laughs> They'll just... <sighs> yeah, Brazilians, Brazilians. Brazilians, okay. yeah. yeah. You like a Brazilian? Many, many, yeah, I love them, I love them. Give, yeah. <laughs> many, many what? I've had many, and I want you to give me one, yeah. <laughs> Things got a bit hairy there, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, they did. <laughs> but we, uh, we, we pulled it out, though. <laughs> Anyway, the Russians will probably do well as well. Today, Vladimir Putin gave the Russian team a motivational speech. He was like, remember, if you can't beat them, invade them. Because <laughs> he talks like drag. Right. Yeah. Did you know this? Yeah, drag. Oh, yes, drag. I am the premier of Russia. One. <laughs> one little invasion. Two. One, two. <laughs> Ukraine, me, Ukraine. <laughs> I, I want to suck your borscht. <laughs> what? You know, it's like a soup. It's borscht. Oh, oh borscht. your yeah, borscht. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry. I, I'm terribly <laughs> sorry, everyone. Anyway, the World Cup's not the only thing on TV. Last night, nearly five million people watched the season premiere of Duck Dynasty. That's five million more people than watched this show. Yeah. <laughs> On last night's show, the governor of Louisiana gave the cast of Duck Dynasty an award. I'm not sure what the award was. I'm guessing it wasn't a Tony. But the, uh... <laughs> but the, the, you know, it's the new season of Duck Dynasty last night. World Cup soccer tonight. This is a big week for guys who never put their hands on balls. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping it classy.
Keeping it classy. Keeping it classy. All the way to All Christmas. All the way to Christmas. <laughs> Well, that's it. I'm done. That's it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I don't want to do it anymore. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you what, are you following the soccer? We oh, have to yeah. call it soccer, not football. No, I'm big into it. Big into it. Oh, really? Who yeah. do you, who's your favorite for the World Cup? Oh, the one, the one guy with the uh, curly hair. He's something. <laughs> now, when you're at home watching the World Cup, do you blow your vuvuzela? I sure do. <laughs> hey, I blow my vuvuzela and I suck my borscht. <laughs> Guess what we're doing? <laughs> we're keeping it classy. Keeping it classy. All, all the way, way to Christmas. Christmas. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Soccer fever, haven't we, Jeff? Yeah, this is the one, man. Yeah. This is the one. We've got World Cup soccer fever. <laughs> we have to make up our own songs because we're not allowed to use songs that we have to pay for, right, Jeff? Right, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So tonight we've got World Cup soccer fever. <laughs> kicking those balls, kicking those balls. <laughs> Look, they've made. Uh, I've got chocolate balls in a little net bag. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, chocolate balls in a little net bag. Look at that. <laughs> Have you, uh, have you examined them thoroughly? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They seem fine. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, uh, are you turning your head and coughing? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I hit a little something in my throat. <laughs> Chocolate ball? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't have been late. See, this is what happened. <laughs> Can you imagine what the show would have been like if he hadn't turned up? <laughs> it would have been better. Oh, man. <laughs> it, it would have been... Like you did go. Amazing. Yeah. What the hell, man? And you would have heard what I said. <laughs> Time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Because you still have rabbit ears wrapped in tinfoil atop your TV set, it's tweet mail time. <laughs> yeah, I'll play the jingle. Welcome back, everybody, <laughs> from the jingle. Um, we're, now we're back in where production values are no longer important. That's it. That's all you're going to get tonight, folks. The next time we play a jingle, though, put on your 3D glasses. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Craig will let you know when it's time to put them on. Right. I'll let you know the next time it's time to put it on. Put on your 3D glasses now! <laughs> Sorry, I threw my balls at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Not the first time I've said that, right, Jeff? That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, this is uh, from Dana in Montclair, New Jersey. You ever been there? Montclair, the best, yeah. Montclair, that's that. Uh, New Jersey's the Garden State. Why do they call it the Garden State? There's lots of gardens there. <laughs> People are big into gardening. That's the thing you do there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Dana says, uh, Craig, seriously, you need to respect Beckett more. Godot is one of the greatest written works ever. Oh, because I was trashing uh, Sammy Beckett last yeah, night on the really show. Yeah, that was really bad, man. Yeah, yeah, I feel so bad. <laughs> I, didn't, I mean, he, clearly, uh, Beckett was a genius. Blah, blah. <laughs> By the way, if you don't know Beckett and you want to get that waiting for Godot effect, then please enjoy the monologue any night on this show. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Diane in Kansas City, Kansas. You ever been there? Oh, Diane, yeah. <laughs> Diane says, Craig, what the hell is ass mode? <laughs> Tell him, Jeff. Ass mode is a way of life. It's a way of life. <laughs> it's a way of life. 
<laughs> it's like Jeff and I are outlaws with our fake horse, on a fake horse we ride. Right, right. <laughs> and it's ass mode. You're changing a little bit so we don't have to pay for it. Oh, you're gonna get sued. Yeah. America, American eggs, American eggs. Oh, you remember we did that? Yeah, yeah we used to right. do that when we did our jingle for yeah, American right, eggs. Yeah. Let's do it again. Yeah, all, right. Yeah, all, right, all right. When you wake up in the morning, <laughs> and you <laughs> and you want to move your legs, have yourself a breakfast of good old American eggs. American eggs. They're round and white, and they go all night. American <laughs> eggs. They're more of an oval, really. This is from Barry in San Dimas in California. You ever been to San Dimas? San Dimas, yeah. Yeah, man. It's where the, uh, the water park's over there. Water park. The water park's in Hell San yeah, Dimas? yeah, I can't imagine uh, an electrically functioning android would enjoy a water park. <laughs> I only went once. <laughs> Craig, uh, can you give me a little whistle every now and then to get, make sure I don't doze off and miss something awesome? Certainly. Uh, here's your... your uh, wake up! <laughs> We're hearing a lot of that in the World Cup. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I guess you, uh, you squeezed my chocolate balls too hard. <laughs> from Raul in Miami Beach, Florida. Now, I know you've been there. Oh, Raul. Raul. <laughs> he says, Craig, does Secretariat, because this is how Raul talks, I have that's decided. Right. No, that's, <clears throat> that's very Does Secretariat eat oats or people food? <laughs> you don't eat oats or, yes, you do. You don't eat oats, but you do eat people food. Okay, yeah. No, you don't eat people food. No. You don't eat people food or oats. Right, so what do you eat? You eat, you don't eat anything, you just, you just nod, and you shake your head and you nod. But that, you would, you would die. Oh, you'd move your head around in a circle. Well, I hope that's cleared it up for you. <laughs> Hello? Hello, it is Raoul. <laughs> How are you? It's great to hear from you. <laughs> Raoul, you sound a little bit like sort of mm, Miami Dracula. Yes. <laughs> That's right. You know me, sleeping during the day and alive at night, ready to party. You want to do some coke? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> who, uh, who the hell was that on the phone? That was uh, Raul Dracula from Raul Miami. Raul Dracula? Yeah. You know him? Sure, yeah. He's a good friend of mine, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, hello? Hi, sir. It's uh, Jerry from room service. <laughs> Just uh, checking in, making sure everything's all right. Uh, how's the show going so far, sir? Mm, touch and go. <laughs> you want me to send a sandwich up or eat anything, sir? Beverage? No, you could come up and touch and go. Uh, last uh, last time I did that, sir, I was at your place for a couple of weeks. It was uh, the best couple of weeks I ever had, quite frankly, sir. Hold on, I'm touching and going. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Is Miriam there? Yeah, hold on a second, sir. She happens to be she happens to be right here, sir. It's amazing. Hello, Craigy Poo. <laughs> Miriam, you old <laughs> bitch! I hate you. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter? You got something stuck in your ground? <laughs> but when I move this near the phone, you can't talk. That's right, yeah. No, because it... Uh, right, 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 right. So now you can oh, hang on, hang on. The Jay Leno fly just came in. Not too bad. They're pretty good. Oh, this is funny. This is a funny story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. My, my first.
guest tonight is a beautiful actress, a uh, very talented woman, her, uh, her show, True Detective. <laughs> it's available now on DVD. Apparently, they still make the DVDs. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Take a look at this. Michelle Monaghan, everybody. Fantastic. Thank you so much. La Boutons. Uh oh. La, oh, how'd you know? Because I know about women and their feet. Well, I got to tell you, I like your socks. I saw them sitting up here. Those are impressive. I they're, like them uh, a lot. They're tights. Do they go all the way up? <laughs> all the way up, and then there's a little door around the back oh. for emergency. <laughs> Nice. How are you nice. doing? You look, I mean, really fantastic. Thank you so much. You, I, I mean, have you had a, every time you come here, you've had about three babies. So yeah. maybe you got, no. <laughs> I've, got, I've got I've got two. I've, the latest is eight months now. Because she was, you, I mean, you were just, you were just born the last yeah. time you were yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He was a little bit, I, I don't know, he was a few months old, maybe like three months. Yeah. Old. Yeah. How are you doing? Are you getting any sleep? We are, again, we're getting a little bit of sleep. You know, he's... He's sleeping, you know, uh, you know, 12 hours a night, but what? he wakes up like once or twice for a bottle, right? That's like so, me. Yeah. <laughs> Sailing like me in the 80s. Exactly. <laughs> 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 so we're that's okay then. You're okay. doing all right with that. Yeah, Eight months. Great. So you've got about another four months before he's like walking. He, honestly, I, he's 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 walking around things now. He's he's crawling. He's up. I mean, he's like this little guy. Yeah. Yet he's really strong. I mean, he was ten pounds when he was born, so he's he was yeah. Now listen, I don't even have a vagina, but that <laughs> but that makes me go. So oh. I sort of knew. I sort of knew I had a feeling that he was he was going to be on the go because he never stopped moving in my stomach. He was like a madman in my stomach. Really? Doesn't that yeah. feel weird? It does feel yeah, very like, weird. It must be like alien or it's, something. It is, I like, it is like an alien. It is like an alien. It was, um, you know, he was, it was very interesting having him because I, I was nine months pregnant. I was like three days uh, away from my, my, uh, my, my uh, what do they call that? A due date. Yes. And um, <laughs> a due date, right? And I happened to get the worst bout of food poisoning. Ooh, that's bad. bad. That's dangerous. Yeah, so, um, and we do home births at our at our house. What? We have our babies at home. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, but it yeah. does, I mean, of course you must yeah. do it the way you want to do it, yeah, but yeah. Well, if so, anything goes wrong, shouldn't you have a doctor? Well, it's, the thing was, our midwife, after 12 hours of throwing up and everything you could possibly This is you, no, the is midwife, me. right? This yeah. is me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I can't see this. Yeah. Oh. yeah, no, and then finally she was like, you know, you're going to have this baby, and it's not ideal of course to have this baby at home and you're really really dehydrated and you know you're gonna need all the energy it takes we of course didn't know how big he was um, so we ran to urgent care to like get an IV and of course I didn't tell anybody that I was having contractions but I was having contractions at the point you can't keep contractions a no. secret <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's the not doctor, like I need some dental no, 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 work the doctor's like... coming in and I'm like looking at my husband like tapping my foot and, you know and he's timing them and finally at like five o'clock in the afternoon I was like we gotta go we gotta get out of here we gotta go home we gotta get home and have this baby. You are badass. <laughs> you must be pregnant when you were doing True Detective. I man. was pregnant when well, I you, was in that True clip. Detective. You were wearing a very short dress. I was wearing a very short dress. I, and I don't think I'd found out that I was pregnant at that point, but the show ran six months, about six months, and the actual the span of the show runs about 17 years, so I didn't tell anybody that I was pregnant because I wanted to focus you on really that. You really like to keep pregnancy and birth. But really, <laughs> but as my, my ass was getting bigger, I was getting older, so somehow it sort of worked. I think everybody just... Yeah, yeah, that. that's yeah. a kind of Hakuna Matata thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I have no, but you seem uh, very kind of, you know, lithe and stuff. I, I yeah. mean, I, I've noticed as I get older, my ass is definitely getting bigger. Yeah. But with the same <laughs> amount of food, even less food, it's horrible. Really? Yeah, I, That's I, awful. Like three leaves of kale a day. You do. <laughs> do you work out? Do you do any workout routine? No. No. This is like this is a workout. Oh no, no, I do. I do. I do you a little do. bit. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I lift up, uh, you know, my children. You do. <laughs> <laughs> And that's it. And that's it. I helped Michael carry his wallet into the studio. You do. <laughs> do 
Do you do that? Do you do Pilates and stuff? I you don't do Pilates. Pilates. I like to run. I like to run. Okay. I like to hike. Do you have one of those three wheel like things with your baby in it? Like you see LA women running in the no, spandex and no, the, no, no, the no, baby no, in the front. No, 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 no. I have not, not that. No, I can't run. I can't do any of that with the kids. But I don't like to spin as well. Spin? Yeah. I've done that. It's really fun. Yeah, it's bad on the old, uh, you know. <laughs> You know what? It is. It hurts like hell. Yeah, well, like... you try having junk on the outside, and then you know, <laughs> it's like when you. I mean, it's like ooh. It's Talk to me about having a ten-pound baby, and then you know we might. Okay, be, okay, okay, fair we're, enough. We're you even. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I've, I've never had a ten-pound baby or even a five-pound baby. Yeah. Exactly. I, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That would be that would be that weird. would be we that well would be that would make weird. the news I think. <laughs> and in late night news yeah that would be weird <laughs> well there you are there, there we are yeah uh, so um so what's going on well I, uh, <laughs> I don't do you want to do an awkward pause now yes okay yeah let's <laughs> Feels like it's organically happening. Well, you know, we usually have our awkward pauses at home. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was an awkward. Well, that was a little awkward. Every I was like, whoa. Are you sure a 10 pound baby? I'm like, everything's cleared up now. <laughs> we'll be right back with Michelle Water, everybody. Michelle Monaghan, but we're just talking about uh, about Matthew McConaughey because you like him yeah. and he's in the True Detective yes. show. And I was saying about when he came to this show the first time, he said, I had a good... Well, what did he say, Jeff? He said, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. Exactly. And then he said, uh, my brother, uh, Rooster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said, he watches this show and he says it's great and, and Rooster's never right about anything. <laughs> That's awesome. And then he, and then after he said, you know, he he was right. That was the first time. Oh, and he's, God. I like Matthew very much indeed. But he's too thin right now from that Dallas Buyers Club. He's movie. a little thin. Yeah. I mean, it, it was that was pretty remarkable. I mean, he went straight off di about, uh, Dallas Buyers Club right. into True Detective, and he, I think he only he had less than like a month off. Yeah, he was like he was living on. I think it was a Dr Pepper and a and a piece of kale every day. I mean, yeah, seriously. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, that's more than what you live on. Well. Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I've got that, you know, thinness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's a good dude. He's he is. He's a very nice man. Guy. Plays the bongos, you know. Yeah, he plays the bongos. Yeah, yeah. maybe a little too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're out of time. Okay. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. All right. So, um... Am I going to see you again before... Before? Before. Oh, this is awkward. Well, here's the thing. You know when people say, oh, you know, like Dave said he was retiring, and yeah. then I said I was stopping doing this show, and everybody yes. said, I'm retiring. I'm like, I'm not cracking. Retiring? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. 52 years old. I'm not retiring. I don't have that exactly. kind of money. You're just going to go on vacation for a while. Yeah, I'm just going to go. I'll find something else to do. You know, local car dealer ads exactly. or something. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Look at these prices on new and used models. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. Okay. All right. You gonna have any more babies? I don't think so. Yeah, good I, for you. I don't think so. I think like I, I two's enough. <laughs> two's enough. Two's enough. I got two. Two's yeah, enough. Yeah, it's it's they're they're hard work. It's hard work working. You know the whole the whole the whole it's thing. It's like being a servant. Yeah. <laughs> It's true, isn't, isn't it? it? Like, it's, I want this, I want that. Oh. They're really, they're, yeah. they're, de they're demanding little yeah, bunch kids, Yeah, unreasonable. Right? God, God bless them, but yeah, they're, they're definitely challenging. Yeah. They're better when they get older, apparently. Yeah. yeah, I mean, my daughter did tell me the other day that she's like, Mommy, Tommy's not a real person. <laughs> and I was like, he's not? She's like, no, 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 Mommy, he's not a real person because he can't stand up. He's not a real person. <laughs> I was like, Whoa. I was like, yeah, he's not a real person at all. We don't have to pay any attention to 
him at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, uh, yeah. he'll be standing up soon, and then and then all that stuff starts yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, no, Gotta exactly. Put all that stuff around the house. Oh, no, it's it's just a total pain in my no. ass. Yeah. <laughs> I already did not... it for my husband, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're definitely done. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Michelle Monet, everybody. We're right back. is a terrific comedian. His podcast, The Smartest Man in the World, is available on iTunes. I'm talking like this. I like when you do that. It turns me on. This is how you talk if you're a British television presenter. Start off talking like this, and then finish off talking like this. Anyway, my next guest has a special, Greg Proops Live at Musso and Frank's. It's available on his website. That's a clue, because it's Greg Proops, everybody! seen you for ages. I know, mate. What's going on, man? Well, you know, I'll tell you. I was going by the post office the other day, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know if you got my tweet, uh. but I went. I was wearing my glasses that look a little bit, that make me look a little bit like you, <laughs> and, and I saw you outside the post office. It freaked me out. Wow. I was. You go to the one with the one on uh, Fairfax? Yeah, Fairfax, yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's my post office, all right. Yeah, well. I hang out there in the daytime, you know, just asking people if they want to collect stuff and whatnot. <laughs> Do you, do you send packages there or I collect do. them? I, I do both things. I, I, I send I've and collect packages. Collecting packages in West Hollywood? It's something to do. It's really, yeah. it's, uh, it's how I got this job. You got this job? I don't know. No one said it yet, but... Well, no, I think the news no. is out. Anyway, look, uh, it's good to see you. It's nice to be here. Well, I, listen, you've spent a lot of time in Britain, right? I have. Right, have you noticed on the television that when the presenters, they go, and now they start talking like this, and then they finish up talking always, like this? Always, always. I'm here in Afghanistan, and you'll find that the situation has become critical. Yeah. <laughs> What's and the then, deal with that? Do they teach them that? And then they, yeah, they always do that. And, and they mispronounce everything willfully. It goes, up, I'm here in Manahua, Niharahua. They go, oh, you're saying it right, and right. I always thought it wrong. Right, right. That's what, but American broadcasters do that as well. They say, yeah. you know, they talk normally, and then they say, today in Nicaragua. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you don't speak Spanish. You just say Nicaragua. Right. That's all. Right. Yeah. They learned you speak one Spanish? Word. I don't. My Spanish is terrible. I speak California Spanglish, which is no Spanish at all. Uh, I don't know. It's something. Like, I can say, uh, you know, I want Taco Bell. And, uh... There's no Spanish in that at all. Uh, well, I, I left the Spanish out to make it easier. Uh, that seems fair. Look, so, you go around and you do a lot of gigs in Europe, right? I do. You do gigs in... Now, you and Eddie Izzard do that all the time. And I have... I don't... How do you do it? Because there are... People don't speak English. Well, but you're playing for people who do speak English mostly. And I was in Finland, and everyone speaks English there. So it's lucky because... I don't know if you've ever been to Finland, but they speak elf talk. <laughs> Like the Hobbit, right? Like I asked, to, I said, "Can you tell me how to say good evening?" And the woman looked at me and went, "That's one of the hardest things to teach someone." And I was like, "No one in Finland has mastered it yet." Because, <laughs> like, Cheers was like, ooh, 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 ooh. So when you every every time you're talking to anybody, you feel like you're in a scene in the Hobbit because they go. It's very Viking. Yeah, yeah. It sounds fascinating. Iceland's the one I want to go to. I've not been to Iceland. Oh, I'm like, they've got a mayor, the mayor of Reykjavik. I think he's finished now, but John Narr, his yeah. name is. He's a stand up comedian. Yeah. Yeah, That's I like awesome. that idea. Comedians becoming mayors. I'm going to go for LA. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. Maybe you should start with something smaller, like, you know, the Beverly Grove or something. Yeah, all right, yeah. Uh, no, start with, maybe, like, the Beverly Center. Where are you from, San Francisco? I am from San Francisco. You should, no, but, I'm not. Thank you for asking. No, you should. <laughs> It was a joke. Yeah, yeah, well, is it, though, Greg? Anyway, look. 
Not with those socks. They're tight. They, uh, oh, let me see. Oh, they are great. They got flowers on. I got little flowers. You got you uh, uh -huh. went to San Francisco with yeah. flowers I'm in making your feet. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you do a podcast, eh? What's that? A podcast? It's like the radio on a computer. Exactly. <laughs> I did it in Finland. I did it in Amsterdam. I did it in Wales. We were in Wales and uh, London, whoa, whoa, whoa. Paris, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Now, what's a man like you doing in the city of Amsterdam? You know the thing is about Amsterdam. There's so much to see and do, but why? There's dope. <laughs> Why not just stay in a well, room? Well, you do, you do enjoy uh, the, I, I seem to remember you enjoy the occasional herbal um, refreshment. Oh, you know, only when I'm awake. <laughs> if, I, if I'm up, uh, then yeah. You know why? Because mornings are harsh. You get up in the morning and like the sun is beating down and then you'll hear a bird or some other vermin and you're like, you know, <laughs> I got to take the edge off this. No, I understand, yeah. I used to live like that, but now I just wake up and stay miserable all day. <laughs> nah, it's all right. I haven't seen you. The last time I saw you we, uh, do a live show was in Chicago. Oh, that's right. Third, uh, third show of the night in Zanies, downtown Zanies in Chicago. Yeah. You were pissed at that audience, man. Uh, yeah. Speaking of miserable all day, wow. it's by the third show when you've told the 15th knucklehead to stop texting or something. Finally, I just start dictating when they're texting. I'm like, if you're texting, you should be live tweeting, and this is what you should tweet. Greg's sexual mouth majesty was undeniable. He strode the stage like an enormous jungle cat, and my ovaries clanged like sleigh bells. I think you'll have to put clanged without the vowels to make it all fit into 140, uh... We just retweet. All right. Uh, but that's the, uh, that's the thing. I, I thought it was great that night, because well, you, you were berating the, the audience. You were just, like, slamming them. They were like, ah! <laughs> It was fantastic. They, and all the comedians at the back were howling with laughter. These are my favorite shows. Yeah. The ones where the comedians at the back laughing at the comedian, yelling at the audience. Yeah. That's my favorite. That's what comedy's all about. That's what, what it's that's the, what the, the stand-up brotherhood of guys who hate everything, including themselves. Mm. <laughs> well, who would want to get on stage and ask for the shallow love of the many every 15 to 30 seconds? I think those of us who remember our mothers, right? <laughs> no, I slap them around, but they love it. And you know what? They deserve it, Tim. Yeah, yeah. No, it's nice. It was kind of like, you know, it's friendly, but, you know, rough. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Did you just... you just smell your knuckles there when you were there? I was tasting my thumb. Oh, really? Mm. I was eating some of the chocolate balls you had. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're out of time, but do you follow the soccer? I do. I oh. love the footy. I think Brazil's going to win the whole thing. They better, or else things are going to get lively I was gonna in say, Brazil. Yeah. You think there's riots now? Wait yeah. till they lose. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. think they'll do all right. There yeah. you are. Well, do you want these, then? Yeah, I'd love those. Thank you. I'd love to hold your... That's right. Greg Prims, everyone! <laughs>